live. We're like the whole world's watching us right now. Watching what's just see, see it live. Welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes. This is Stanley OCD. <laughs> Yay! 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 Oh, All right. right. See? Oh, yeah, okay. we're on, um, but we got two people watching right now. Six eight black guys. Look, Nine, six eight, people. Eight. Look, here they come. Look Welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes Workshop. And we are, look, we already got 13 folks, 18 folks. Isn't that awesome? Wow. Come hey on, everybody. everybody. How you guys doing? This uh, is Daniel Chidi. Welcome to my incredible tiny home, 8 by 16 Super excited to be a homeowner. Uh, you guys can come on in, check it out if you want. That's it's been right. an amazing journey so far, so come on in. Oh, that's cool. I mean, you can point to play. There we go. This is my wife, Brianna. Brianna spoke loud of Chidi. Hi, everybody. So, hey, guys. We're super excited to be, you know, owning this 8x16 tiny home. Uh, it has two lofts. Uh, what I love about it is the fact that I can just walk, as a 6'8 guy, I can just walk right, you know, under the lofts without any issues at all. So I think uh, that's one of the most uh, best qualities of, of the tiny home. Comfortable. So, yeah, very comfortable as a 6'8 guy, you know, so, yeah. yeah. So Randy, Six eight, and then <laughs> let's see what you got in the loft up here. Yeah, I think uh, plenty of space. See, there's a gap behind it, drops down a little yep. bit more. She probably got 46, 47 inches still. Yep. So we can fit a queen size bed in there, and All I right. can sit up. Let's see how far you are from your head to your butt. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we're here 41 inches. He can sit in bed, not in yep. his head. I feel comfortable. That's the crazy thing. I feel so comfortable in this, you know, and it's. It's amazing, you know, it's it's enough for two people, so, you know, I'm wow. really, really happy, you know, and uh, on top of that, also the people here, right here, and the staff have been amazing, everybody's been so helpful, you can just go and walk, walk up to anybody and ask a question, and they'll help you out in a heartbeat, so that's really, really been cool, and yeah. then the other people working here is cool, cool as hell, too, yeah. so, yeah, it's yeah. been good, it's been really, really cool, so. This is day what? Day five. five. So, yeah, I'd highly recommend it. You learn a bunch of skills. You get to hang out with cool people. You get to make new friends, you know, so. Exercise. It's, ex it's a great exercise. How do you feel? Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm a gym, you know, I, I work out almost every day, and this has been as hard or even harder than my workout. So I think it's a great, great you know, yeah. gym atmosphere as well. So, yeah, it's positives all the way around. So, yeah, yeah. really excited yeah. about it. We'll do some loft pull-ups, okay? Loft pull-ups, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here he goes. Look at that, dude. Isn't that so awesome? It's a gym as well, so that's, that's, right. that's kind of cool. Oh, right? yeah. That's cool. So, yeah, for me, you know, I, I was really nervous about um, the workshop and never having handled any of the, the equipment. At all. <laughs> but the, um, Are we still on? No, we're still alive. We're still alive. Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All we're right. still on. All right, all right. All right. Yeah. All right Mom. Yeah, okay. Good yeah. deal. Which says live, right? Everybody's commenting. So everybody's still commenting. Oh, good deal. Good deal. Yeah, so good. as I was saying, like, yeah, my wife was the handy one in the relationship, but now since I've been here, I can go yeah. back home and feel more comfortable as a handy nice. guy. So I appreciate that. Yeah. So, yeah. So I really like that. So you go to this tool store and say, I know how to use that. this. Yeah. Why don't you give me some of those nails and some of those drills and, you know, let me go home and feel something. So. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's happy about that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm really happy about that. Yeah. So we can't wait to move back to to move in and when is it? Uh, May. May first. May first. Yeah. yeah. So we we'll live in there for four months. Yeah. We we'll rent it out our own and then just kind of get the gaming experience living tiny. Yeah. And then see if we want to extend that into like a four year of living that way. Oh, good. Honestly, I think if it will work out that way, we'll end up living tiny. Mm -hmm. The remainder of the year, so I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, we'll be living in Carborough, which is right by Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Now, where are you going to um, live at? Is so, it's going to be in a parking uh, spot right by our house. So, uh, in our yard, basically. Oh, really? But at the same time, we're still looking for land as well. Uh, we're thinking about buying some land and maybe placing the tiny home of that in the future. So, uh, yeah. so, right now, we're going to stay here yeah, in our backyard, but then in the future, we're hoping to buy some land. And, and have more space. Um, I think one of the beautiful things about the time on which I'm sure you're aware of is the way you create your outdoor space is just as important as the inside. 
They're yeah. trying to create a very nice and comfortable outdoor space for us. So yeah, they get you outside. Get you outside as well. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So super excited, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. And if you talk about having babies, they're gonna have a whole big old belly full. Yeah. <laughs> this tiny home is gonna be tiny home. Yeah. yeah you, you. Two lofts. Uh, we're gonna have a sofa over here with a pull-out uh, bed. Kitchen, countertop from both sides. Uh, what else? There's a toilet back there. And a full size bed up here so I can sleep to four oh, or five right. people. Yeah, and yeah. So it's a full size and full size. We got yeah. family who love to visit, so we kind of figured we might as well, you know, you know, make as much bed space as possible. Yeah. Um, now, how do you get get to your lofts? We have two telescopic ladders that fold down to about this tall, so yeah. that you can put them out of the way. Nice. So they are. And they're and you got too. a ladder on the outside of your house. On the oh, outside yeah. As well, to yeah. our roof deck. Yeah. This part of the, the roof is flat, so we put the outdoor ladder there so that we could climb up, yeah. kind of just chill out up top, you know, nice. watch the stars, um, you know, sunbathe. I like to sunbathe because I'm not, you know, ah. I live in a town. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to be up there just yeah, chilling, man. you know. So. Vitamin D, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, oh. yeah. Um, but yeah, that's going to be pretty <laughs> awesome. That's to, cool. To experience that, yeah. Yeah. So when Leonard, Stanley walked in, I told, what's that? Leonard Eric wants to know where the kitchen and the bathroom are going. All right, so much going oh. on here. Uh, so here's going to be our kitchen uh, sink right over here. Uh, and then the stove is going to be right over here. Then there are going to be some doors right here. Then you walk right through the doors. There's going to be a little closet space over here. Bathroom and shower where you know the guy in the is, shower. You know, so <laughs> what I like is going to be super high. So even for me, I'll be able to like just stand straight up tall and That's you know. Cool. That doesn't happen often. That doesn't happen a lot. Yeah, even. exactly. So yeah. wow, yeah. yeah. And then over here, we're going to have the toilet, uh, and then the sink is going to be right here. And look at this sink. The sink, yeah. Look, look. This is where the sink hits yeah. me. <laughs> it's gonna build. It. So this perfect. is perfect for me. So uh, wow. Yep. A wash up combo. Uh, right here, wash and dry combo. Yeah. We'll put it right in there. We have some doors that just open up so we have access to it. So it really has everything we need. Uh, you know, storage space, uh, washer dryer, food, uh, you know, right. uh, laundry, everything. So, yeah. Yeah. Really meets all of the needs. So. And that sofa bed's got storage underneath it. Yeah. And then you've got that ottoman that rolls out, right? Yeah, exactly. And here's so, some storage in yeah. the flip up table. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And they pop for uh, these egress windows. So you've got three egress windows down here, and they crank out. So you have three here, and they got two upstairs for each loft for fire escape. Yeah. And they got the two hoppers. I mean, my got what is it, 12 windows in here? Yeah. And 16 foot. Yeah. Is that neat? Yeah. yeah, so it's a lot of daylight. Cool. Yeah. So would you do it again? I'll do it in the heart. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. I'd recommend it to family, friends, you know, anybody who yeah. just has any type of doubt about doing it. I'd say, you know, scratch that and just jump and, you know, do it in a heartbeat. You'll never regret it. So, yeah, awesome. highly, highly recommend it. Good, yeah. good. I can tell when they first got here, I've been telling them the whole time, we, you can just tell us the spirit about somebody. And we just <laughs> gelled really good. His wife, it's just a good, we've had a good group. Yeah, yeah. It's been a good week here, and of course, mom holding the camera. Yeah, mom. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Best volunteer right there. You know, so yeah. yeah. And we banged this out, didn't we? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, we were over here about what an hour and a half ago. Yeah. I can't yeah. Remember. Yeah. yeah. And it's done. It's so smooth. So it's just. It looks great. Yeah. It's amazing because when you have a vision in your head of how your home's supposed to be, and then it manifests itself, and you can kind of yeah. see it. It's, it's an amazing feeling. So yeah. yeah. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, I can see you guys actually in your head. I can see your eyes start spinning when the floor was yeah. done. Yeah. It's like, hey, now we got a house. Now we got a house. Yeah. Makes a big smile to our faces. So. Mm -hmm. Good deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go excited. visit the other ones. If you got anything else you want to think about, say, I'll come back. Uh, or, yeah. Um, House great experience. The food. Um, the food. Oh, oh, delicious. I love, you know, I'm a big guy. I love to uh -huh. eat. Uh, and so the food has been. Excellent. And one more thing, I think uh, I'd highly recommend everybody to come, come to the Jamboree in, in May. Thank uh, you. Oh, yeah, nice. I think yeah. we might try and make it there yeah. as well. So, 
of maybe bring our time to so everyone can come here and see for themselves yeah. how great it is. So yeah, really appreciate you. Randy. And we're given a house away, and you're, man. You're yeah, that's not away, crazy. So that is amazing. You know, so. We'd love to have two. To yeah, have yeah. <laughs> that's where we're going, right? There. Yeah. yeah. So, are you gonna? Is your house gonna be here for the jam? Uh, no, no. We'll we'll take it. And you got to be in it. That's right. Yeah. 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 Okay. We might come back. If we don't bring the house, we'll just drive yeah, up sure. and uh, hopefully win the win the next house. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, so okay. yeah, but it's been great so yeah. far. And time flies by as well, you know. I think yeah. you get your best sleep uh, after four oh, days, yeah. four days work. You really, really sleep well. So uh, really appreciate that. And you've that. been they've been sleeping in a tent. Yeah. Yeah. Outside. Yeah, so we kind of went the tent route so that once we move into a tiny home, it's going to feel like a huge place. <laughs> yeah, so cool. yeah, it's been cool. Yeah. Amazing. Good deal. Appreciate awesome. Yeah. Well, good. We were working earlier and we were all sweating in here, busting it, putting these down, and now it's done. Yeah. And uh, it's so smooth and amazing. Like, so we'll just finish these few boards and yeah, yeah. Good, you know? call it a night. Yeah. yeah. Like, so. I want to sleep here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, good. Well, I'm going to go visit these other guys. All right. And uh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, yeah. Randy. Yeah, thanks. thanks for telling everybody. Thanks, everybody. Good night. Here you go. I'll thank you, Mom. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Here we go. Let's see what these guys are doing over here. See the 303? Here, these are the, those are the egress windows. There's three. And then they've got one on the side, and then there's one on the other. Five of them suckers. Now, this is a 24-footer right here, right? And let's see. These are the window trims. They've got their flooring in. Oh, yeah. Look here. We're live, man. How's it going? Hey. Hey, this is Chris and Neil. From Franklin? Yes. I'm not going to say what state. Somebody will, hunt, somebody will hunt you down. Franklin's like the most popular city name. So yeah, they know where you're at. It's done. Yeah. Man, I love that bead board up there. Everybody's here. I'm, I've got Facebook and showing you guys your all's work. And what are you all working on? Uh, the loft flooring. Oh, the loft? Window casings. Yep, window casings. They're already pre-built. You just got to trim them to fit, right? Right. Nice. Good deal. Where's where'd, uh, the homeowner go? He literally just went out as he came in. Him and her? Yeah, yeah. She's got that Russian name I can't pronounce and I keep messing it up. Gilnara. Gilmara. Nara. Nara. Gilmara. Gilnara. 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 Uh -huh. Here you go. You got it. Good job. You guys worked last night how late? 11.30. 11.30. Yes, sir. How do you feel, buddy? Actually, not too bad. Good. I might go make a pot of coffee, but yeah, not too bad. Get that Turkish coffee going. Oh, yeah. That'd wow. be the way to go. Now, they've got really unique. I wish you could see the door they built, but they've got a door here that's going to slide out, and it's got a ladder mounted on it, and they're going to a pipe ladder that they can go up to their loft. Then they've got a staircase that goes over here, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Staircase and kitchen. That is a big old loft you guys are on. This goes, yeah. that's your main bedroom up there, right? Yes, Where Chris sir. is at. Up. Yep, egress window. And then this is your storage loft? Or uh, a it's guest? actually going to be a guest loft. That's right, you guys are actually maybe going to use this as an investment exactly. property, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, I got you. rental and uh, a holiday. Vacation, yeah. yeah. This is the first one we've ever done with the French doors on one side and then sliding glass doors on the other. Now, what, what were you thinking by putting this? Was there a reason that you wanted that? Uh, just trying to bring more of the outdoors in as much as possible. Right. Uh, so uh, there, where you're standing, there potentially at least the idea will be a couch there. Okay, yeah. Uh, that folds out to a bed to sleep even more. Um, and then from the couch, you'll actually be looking towards the kitchen, but you'll have outdoors to your right, outdoors to your left. And then if uh, we have a deck on the back, a deck on the front, you open up both French doors, uh, you can open up the sliding door. Oh, yeah. You've got just... There you go. Through, through there. So You're bringing the outside in and just... As much as possible. Go. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Uh, the folding table from the edge of the countertop will come out actually in front of the stationary uh, French door. Right, okay. Um, and then, uh, yeah, should open up really nice and have a lot of light. 
five windows on each side, five of the hoppers on each side. Yeah, there's a ton of windows, man. Um, yeah, the idea was as much much light as we can inside. And yeah, well, what do you guys, bigger. what do you think of the workshop? Can you, do you uh, good. recommend it to a, the world? Absolutely, absolutely. Learned a lot, a lot of new skills, getting the hang of some things. Yeah. Takes a few minutes to to get going on something, but then the next thing you know, you feel like a pro. Good. Yeah. Came awesome. with a good crew, though. Got these guys uh, volunteering, helping us out. Yeah. Um, and so. Yeah. You guys actually helped the other family, too. A couple of you guys helped out. Yeah, yeah. Chris and I uh, helped him out. Chris, I think, spent most of the day yesterday. Yeah. That was nice. And then uh, the night before, he spent about half the day. And we were both over there for a little bit. But, yeah. yeah. Cool. We're all family. I mean, that's very good. That's exactly right. Exactly right. That's why we do it. Yep, for sure. You guys, thank you. I just wanted to show the world what's going on. They're always kind of waiting on the fate on this uh, workshop week and how you guys progress and how you feel about it. You know, and, and um, it's not for everybody to build their own tiny house, but they get intimidated. A lot of people do, you know. Sure. And um, but us framing it and doing the wiring and plumbing, it's still a lot of work, but it's it is. It's still a lot of work, but uh, yeah. What's that? I was looking forward to the framing and wiring portion. Yeah, and you I didn't missed. Know if that was going to be yeah. We used to do that where you guys would come in and do the framing and wiring, but it was just too much work. Yeah. You, you couldn't accomplish it in the in the short time span, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I wish we I wish you could participate more in that, but it had to extend out. Yeah, it'd be two weeks. And that's just too much. <laughs> yeah, you we you guys wouldn't like me after that's two weeks. Too much. <laughs> Long day. Yeah, I know sure. it. I know it. Sure. All right, I'll let you guys go, man. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, hey, everybody. Gosh, let me get over here. Yep. I'm filming by myself tonight. And uh, look here, isn't this beautiful place? Awesome. Hey, want to let everybody know that tomorrow at our Saturday night show at 8 o'clock, we'll, uh, we'll feature these homes again and see the progress of what's going on. Remember our jam, Memorial Day weekend. For two days, this is gonna be a big event. We're really excited about it. You know what we wanna do? We wanna show that all these other events that are going on across the United States, that we can be just as big as they are and only feature one company in all of these homes that you guys will be able to see and go through. And then there's actually people bringing their homes to our show, guest speakers, you name it. We have an agenda, we got people speaking, we've got, uh, our water, our water reclamation. Oh, let me get over here. Look here, this is the homeowner. This is Gilnaria. Almost close, very close. Gilnaria. 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 Gilnara. 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 Gil Gilnara. Gil ah, Gil yes. All right. Everybody wants to know what are you, how are you doing? What do you think about this place in your home? I want and... to stay longer here. You want to stay longer? Yes. To you can build more finish. Just keep going. Yes. Isn't that something? I like it. So you like the building and the work yes, in it? Yes, yes. And learning and just using all the tools and getting experience and seeing the progress. It's awesome. It's rewarding, isn't it? Oh, yes. Every much. day? Mm -hmm. Yep. And just it, I'm feeling accomplished uh, by the end of the, each day. And you get to touch on everything and kind of get a sense of... What is what is easier? What is more difficult to do? And mm -hmm. uh, learning tricks to yes. little things, and yes. you can see like if you was to do this over and over, how it would become more rhythmic and easier, and have a picture yes. of what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. Finally, we'll probably get bored. Ah, I gotta get bored here. No. And who's this guy? Mark. Mark. Look at him. I'm Mark. He's Mark. You guys are good friends. I could tell. Yep. That's awesome. Exactly. Yep. So much you can hit me and. I won't run away. <laughs> and then you're now. You guys, you're from Savannah. Yes, Savannah, right. Yes. In, in from Savannah area. Yeah. yeah. And now, what do you? Would you recommend this to? I've asked them. Would you recommend the workshop to other people I to come here? I would recommend it to people at work before I get, got here because <laughs> I was so excited. My boss actually said she'll let me go if I will. Uh, if I'll come back with a full report because she wants to do this as well. Really? Yeah. So. Awesome. 
Yeah. So you play your cards right. I'll recommend her to you. You'll come back. You'll come back too. Huh? <laughs> I'll come back yeah. too. Aww. Yeah, yeah. I'll come back and help her. Yeah. So we'll be the volunteers for that. So, no. That's yeah, this cool. is excellent. It's really cool. What yes. can you say to anybody? What's What's the pitch? Advertise me, man. Advertise me. Come to the Spring Jam. Come to the Spring Jam. Yes. 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 Will you cut houses and you have so many of them here? Because I was telling everyone that. It's such a big facility. He has like six houses he can fit in the hangar. And then we got here and it's what, 20 right now here? There's How a many bunch. Houses? There's yeah. a bunch, man. Yes, back and you go to each one of them. And even though you're limited with space, it seems like you can't, you don't have too many options how you can make things around. Right. But you go into each one of them and they're totally different. Like everyone is unique. Everyone has some features that you look at it and think, why didn't I think about it? We we'll already have a thoughts. About you can see all kinds next, of the... next house. Oh really? <laughs> Isn't there something? Yeah. yeah. And I, I would say, um, just the the overall experience that you provide to people when they come and do the workshop. It's, um, I mean, the the fact of of all the knowledge that you're gaining, you know, learning from all of these, not just yourself, but all these other craftsmen that you have, you know, at your disposal. Um, you're getting, I would say, years of experience in a one-week period of time. Isn't that cool? And you're, you know, and, and the fact that you have every, t every tool available, every, you know, every asset at a carpenter's disposal to build a home is at, you know, a layman's person's fingertips, and and everyone is is very helpful. So, I think that's the best thing there is, is what an individual can learn, because these are life skills you can take with you for the rest of your life, and yeah, even if you don't even build a tiny home. Or you have another home somewhere else, and you're going to have a carpenter come in. Yeah, you're going to know exactly, or you're going to have a very good idea of what what their world is, and and how you can, uh, you know, how you can either partake in it or fix it yourself or do yeah. things yourself. I mean, you see, I mean, you see this every bit of a home being built from the structure to the systems to the finishing work. So. So now you know what's behind the walls and oh, how it was built. Of and, yeah. And yeah. Uh, and as I was. I was telling a little bit about your door that has the ladder on it. Oh yes. And uh, that was, I think that's kind of cool. Mike is calling it bulletproof door because yeah. it's so heavy. <laughs> it's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So we came up with an idea that um, since we ran out of wall space for the ladder, we're doing this sliding door and installing ladder on the sliding door uh, because we put those two huge doors, one next to or one against another one. Yeah. We don't have any. Uh, room on the wall to put the ladder on to get on the loft. So this is where that idea about that sliding door came. Yeah, in, I got you. From. Check in tomorrow's episode. Yes, yeah, we'll tomorrow it should maybe be we'll have it in. <laughs> we want to have it in. Yeah, that yeah. would be cool. Let's try to get Def that door in there tomorrow. Have yes. the door in the show. So we have like industrial grade sliders that uh, attach in the door to the wall, and then those awesome iron casters nice. that we're rolling on. It's exciting. Good. Tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the day. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to hold you up. I know you guys are busy. It's All getting right. late. Thanks, Randy. All right, man. See you guys. Back at it. Yep. Wow. That's her staircase right there. Isn't that cool? We built that in the shop. We'll install it tomorrow. Cool. Oh, yeah. Mom's house is right there. Look at that. That's going to be the covered wagon. Where's she at? Mom's in there sleeping, I think. That's the covered wagon. We're going to... We whitewashed the outside. We're gonna put wagon wheels on this. It's just, it looks like a mess right now, but I'm actually building this partly out of reclaimed lumber, as you can tell. That's old, just masonite. <laughs> That's masonite up there. And we built the rafters and the out of scrap wood. All the rafters in here were built out of just three pieces of plywood and scrap two befores. The end's all boxed in, so you can't see inside. It's too dark now, but uh. Super excited about this. Yeah, can't see inside, but it's got a round roof. This one right here, these folks are coming up from Miami and they're gonna live here with us. And then the people from last year's uh, jam, their house is here, they've left it here since October. They're coming at the end of the month, they're gonna live here in the community. So that makes two more coming, and I think there's two more actually coming to our community. So, hey, things are happening here at Credible Tiny Homes, and Thank you for viewing, everybody. All right, we'll be back tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Remember the jam?
Memorial Day weekend. Have a great night.